Praise the name of the Lord. Shalom family. Once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome, what awesome session. Of course, it's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene. I bring you this timely word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I appreciate all those that you can read to this particular session. Returning viewers, you and subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. Thank you for always checking in whenever we do new video uploads. Please consider to like this video. Do subscribe. The Lord bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I have this very, very quick word very very quick word please take note of it the lord has been giving you signals the lord has been warning you and this word is a confirmation hallelujah now i see this person what you told them is becoming is getting viral what you told them is now becoming viral it's now spreading like wildfire you know there's something that you should always note when you are close to somebody and you're calling that person your best friend, like someone you can confine everything to, you should also know that that person might have another person that they will confine to and who will confine to another person who will also confine to another person. Let the devil never put you into this trap of making you feel like when you don't speak out or when you don't say out the things that God wants to do in your life or the things that God is doing in your life, then it is it's like you don't have faith. No, it's a life from the pit of hell. Your vocalization of what God is about to do in your life is not, is not an act of faith. It is not. Faith is between you and your God. You believe in. You see, everyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Hebrew chapter 11, verse number 6. That is faith. Believing in the things that are not yet seen. You know, saying for the things that be not as though they were. That is faith. Faith is not you exposing the deep secrets of your life that God has revealed to you, what he's about to do to you. And I see you, you are having these things in your heart. You are itchy to tell somebody. The Lord says, keep your mouth shut until he does it. Keep your mouth, let them see it with their eyes. Because the moment you, you say all these things, these people are going to take it and spread it like wildfire. And it will attract attacks into your life. And it will block what God is about to do in your life and in your destiny. I pray this word is going to lead and guide to make the right choices in the mighty name of Jesus. Your testimony is preserved. Your miracle is preserved. And your breakthrough is preserved in Jesus' name. I love you so much. May the Lord display his splendor in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen.